Hey everybody, Chris Pettit here with First 15 Live. I've got a good one for you. I'm going to tell you exactly what you should be looking for and what you should be thinking about when you go to church. That in just a minute. First off, remember, here's what we are here for. First 15 Live is all about helping making spending time with God every day go viral. I'm coming live from a the Columbia High School, which is where Church of the Highlands Huntsville campus is, um, joining them for 21 days of prayer. If you're in the Huntsville area, I invite you to come join us. Um, this is the last week of it. Um, through Friday, it will be at 6 o'clock, 6 to 7. And then Saturday, the big finale will be at 9 o'clock. So I invite you to come join us. Um, it's exciting. It's fun uh, to be praying with literally hundreds of other people and, and thousands across the state of Alabama. So I'm excited about that. I know there's people literally all over the world joining Highlands for this kind of prayer movement. So um, anyway, be a part of that. Um, also, if you haven't shared, please go ahead and share right now so other people can jump on. Uh, that's the most important thing you can do to help this go viral is to share. And thank you for all your comments. Let's dive in. It is a good Tuesday. Shawnee, good morning. Michelle, good morning. Angie, good morning. Aunt Margaret, good morning. Miss Pam, good morning. Leela, glad to have you. Jason, hope to see you Saturday, Jason. Um, Jacqueline, babe, love you. Michelle, glad to have you on here. Terry, glad to have you. Gail, glad to have you. Michelle Ivy, glad to have you. Good morning, good morning, good morning. All right, I'm going to post the scripture and we're going to get started. I got a good one for you today, so if you haven't shared, please do so. I'll pin it to the top. Cool. You'll, you'll probably not miss the fight then. Cool. All right, let's dive in. So, so as, as the title promises, this one is all about um, what you should be thinking about when you go to church. So, Patty, glad to have you on here. Here's what you should be thinking about. Now, this is a strange verse, um, but it comes from chapter 13, um, I believe, uh, 14, sorry, of 1 Corinthians. Um, so, 13 is the chapter of love, you know, talks about love is patient, love is kind, but all those list of things. And then 14 is, is, is like the Pentecostal person's favorite chapter, right? And it's the chapter that, um, that, that churches that aren't Pentecostal don't ever talk about, right? And so it's, it's kind of this tension. But the truth is we actually, I think, miss the whole point of the chapter. And so here's um, one of the verses in there, verse uh, 25, which says this, as they listen, their secret... Pardon me. As they listen, their secret thoughts will be exposed and they will fall to their knees and worship God, declaring God is truly here among us. Now, here's the deal. People take this chapter because here's this chapter is all about if you're not familiar with it. It's all about speaking in tongues and prophecy and and order inside of a church service. And uh, man, I could I could dive so many different directions. It's a rich chapter um, full of, of just good thoughts. But but here's the one I want you to get. OK, more than anything. This is the one I want to stick in your head because people will, will take this, this chapter and they'll say, that's why our church, we need more speaking in tongues in church and we need more prophecy in our service and, and we need more people running around and we need flags and we need all that. And so they'll go that direction or the opposite direction will say, no, this is a chapter on order and we need order in church. We need everything structured and it needs to, to be all that. And the whole point is they're missing exactly what Paul's talking about. Their, their mind is so focused on other things, making other things happen, that they're missing the point of church. Can I tell you, when you go to church, most of you watching this probably go to church for yourself. You go to church thinking, what does God want to speak to me? Who does God want to connect me with? What does God want to do in my life? And that's great. That's a beginning place for people going to church. But can I tell you, there's every day, there's people who go to church, um, or every Sunday, or, or Wednesday, or whatever, that are going to church, and they're not thinking about themselves. They're thinking about others. Specifically, they're thinking about lost people, people who don't know Christ, unbelievers. And that's what this chapter is actually about. Uh, people can argue about the different theologies, the different things, but really what this chapter is about is that church it was never meant for believers to come and get filled up and feel happy about themselves. It was about unbelievers. And that's what Paul's trying to show them. And that verse that we just read was, was what unbelievers should experience when they come to church. So as they listen, as they're connected, as they're hearing with us, the secret thoughts of their heart, that's Holy Spirit conviction. That's not somebody standing up on the stage saying, you're going to hell, you're going to hell. Hey, you, you're going to hell. You're probably going to hell. If you do this, you're going to hell. It's not man conviction. It's the Spirit of God working in our lives. It's gearing everything in our church for those who are coming in who don't yet believe. 
And that's what it's all about. And actually, I'm, I'm here at Church of Highlands, and they're a great example of taking people in from a Sunday morning who don't believe, and then leading them all the way to you know being filled with the Spirit and, uh, and, 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 and all of that, living this rich life with God, because that's what church is really all about. And so, again, people take this chapter and they try to say, you know, one of two ways. No, we need to be really ordered. No, we need, we need the Holy Spirit falling like fire. And, and can I tell you what the Holy Spirit really wants to do? More than get people running around, he wants to get people's lives changed. He wants, to, he wants to see people get saved. He wants to see lives transformed. And the problem is we often go to church thinking about us and our, our, what I need from God. And can I tell you, your pastor, some of your leaders, people serving at church, they're coming thinking about, God, who are you going to reach today? Who are you going to bring that doesn't believe yet? And they're going to encounter you, and they're going to, they're going to believe. And that's what church is all about. And that should be the focus. And, and we should do our best, and we try to. I know at Life Church, and we continually work on it. We continue to grow. Um, we continue. Why do things change at church sometimes? It's because we're continually working better and better to serve people who don't yet believe. It's not for church people. Well, I feel comfortable the way it was before. Good for you, but it's not reaching lost people, so we're changing it. We're working on it. Why? And that's why every church has to change. Every church has to grow. Why? Uh, well, I like my church the size it is. Listen, if your church stays the same size it is, that means there's people all around it going to hell, and nobody's doing anything about it. Come on, somebody. You've got to, to realize that church was meant. If, if God wanted you just to, to, just to grow closer to him, he would take you to heaven right away. As soon as you got saved. But no, church is meant for us to come together and reach unbelievers. And that's what Paul's saying in this chapter. All of this, all of this that you think is important, the speaking in tongues, the prophecy, the order, all these things, all of it needs to be centered around the idea, how do we best reach unbelievers? How do we best touch people who don't know Christ yet? And that's what church is all about. That's what it's all about. Come on, somebody. Sherry, glad to have you on here, Laura. Glad to have you. Thanks for all your help yesterday, Laura. Um, you and Angie are awesome. Um, also, Terry, oh, you were there too. Come on, man. Doing all the heavy lifting with me. Uh, Corey was there. Thank you guys for all your help yesterday. Um, Leela, glad to have you. Larry, glad to have you. Listen, let me pray for you. Remember, church is about lost people. It's about. That's why it's important to bring somebody to church with you because it's not just about you. Come on. It's not just about you. It's about unbelievers. I'll be praying for Cindy. Um, she's having knee surgery this morning. Um, and let's pray. Father, I pray for Cindy for healing. Uh, Lord, wisdom for those doctors. Peace for her. In the, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray for Greg for healing, God. For um, um, uh, Miss Cindy Zach, God, for healing. For um, Miss Anita, God, for healing. For Miss B, Lord, for Ramsey, for absolute healing in, in their lives. Um, and Lord, I pray right now that you would help us to recognize, to stop fighting over petty things, um, to stop being self-absorbed when it comes to church, but to recognize that the purpose of church is to reach those who don't yet believe. And help us, God, to be a part of the answer, part of the solution, and not part of the problem. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on, somebody, ask yourself today, how can I help my church reach more unbelievers? Because that's what it's all about about. Hey, I love you. Thanks for being a part of First 15. Got some exciting updates coming up soon. Some things we're working on behind the scenes. So, um, hey, share. If you haven't shared yet, comment. Um, I know I haven't followed up with comments in, a, in, a, in about a week. I, my life has been a go, 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 go. So when I get a chance to sit down, I will follow up with all your comments. I love you guys. Praying for you guys. Um, share if you haven't shared. Even if you're watching later, please comment and share. That's how we know who's involved and who's part of it. And uh, again, it's our goal to make sure that this goes viral because everybody needs to spend at least 15 minutes with God. Hey, I included the link. Um, it's pinned at the top of the verse to 21 days of prayer here at Highlands. Um, please jump in and join us. It will end at 7 o'clock, so you've got about 15 minutes or so left, 15, 20 minutes, and uh, I'm going to jump back in and get my prey on. And uh, I, I invite you to join me and do the same. Love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow morning, 6.30. Um, watch what God does in your life. Bye for now.